week I'm going to show you a really cool way to personalize your cookware. The first thing I did was I used a program that I have called Art Text, but you can use any word program that you have, and I printed up the letters that I wanted to trace onto the clear contact paper. You need clear contact paper for this project. And then I placed the contact paper over the image. I taped it down so it wouldn't move and I started tracing around the entire thing. Then what you're gonna do, you gotta make sure that you're using the paper side up, not the contact paper side. Then I took um, an X-Acto knife and went around the edge. Now, just remember, you see these parts here that show the opening of the P? Just make sure you save those because when you place it onto the pan, you gotta place these on there too. Here it is completely cut out. I haven't peeled it yet and stuck it onto the bottom. At this point, you can either put it inside the pan or outside. I recommend putting it on the outside because you're etching the glass and this is pretty much non-stick. So if you put you know, the etching on it, you're gonna ruin the, the texture of it. Once you get your contact paper on, and you have to be very patient when you do it. Well, once you get it on, you're gonna take a uh, a boning tool like this or a popsicle stick or a spoon whatever you can get and just go along the edges to make sure you have very good contact just be patient and make sure you get all the edges done well because you don't want your etching cream to seep underneath the letters well there it is I made sure that I rubbed all the edges carefully I added the missing parts from the six and the D and the P Made sure all the edges were rubbed down carefully and now it's time to add the etching cream. This is the product I'm using. I'm using Armor Etch. You can find it in any like craft store like Michaels or AC Moore. I think even Walmart and Kmart might sell it in their craft section. I'm not sure but this is what I'm going to be using. You just put the cream on the exposed area and let it set for about five, six minutes and then you just rinse it off with a little water and then clean the glass with some Windex when you're done. Just apply a thick coat on the exposed area and then just let it sit for about five minutes and it should be done. It's done, I'm gonna peel it off and when I'm done peeling it, I'll show you the finished product. And this is the finished product. See, I etched my name. You can etch anything you like, even if it's just one letter and this is a great idea for wedding gifts, shower gifts, Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, and even for yourself, because if you go to a potluck or something, you don't have to fight over which pan is yours. You already know. Isn't it cool? And I also have this. For this, you use an oil-based Sharpie. I just put my signature and a couple of little stencils. You put it in the oven for 30 minutes and you let it cool in the oven. After 30 minutes, shut off the oven and leave it in there until it's completely cooled. And that's it. And if you use the oil-based Sharpie, not the regular Sharpies, they'll be dishwasher safe.